After decades of serving home-cooked meals, the owners of a local restaurant are putting away their aprons. That's becoming a common theme in Cheviot. We sent Brad Underwood out to see what's causing the businesses to close. In the heart of Cheviot, a message is becoming common on the sides of buildings. For sale, space available. In the past couple of years, nearly 10 small businesses or family-owned restaurants have closed for good. I hate to see it. I hate to see it go. When you see businesses closing, it means that clientele is not coming through anymore. Brittany Ammer works full-time at one restaurant and operates two small businesses with her boyfriend. They recently opened up a recording studio. They also make and sell beef jerky. Hearing one of her neighbors, Stone's Restaurant, is closing at the end of the month doesn't sit well with her. They've been open for a very long time. They've built a staple here. And um, seeing them close, we have to ask ourselves, what's going on in the community that's making this happen? That's the question. Why are so many businesses leaving Shiviet? Recently, Capels closed. Before that, auctions by Maggie, a t-shirt shop, and avocados. And then there's that giant fenced off lot where Frank's used to be. I don't like to hear about that, but uh, I understand, you know, the retiring. Maybe someone will take over. Daniel Thomas owns r and Quality Meats on Harrison Avenue. We've been here 56 years and still going strong. Thomas knows some of the closings are retirement related, but he's hopeful things will turn around. I think it'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I would like to see some nice new restaurants come in, into the city. Yeah, that'd be nice. In Shiviet, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. We reached out to Shiviet's economic development director, members of council, and the mayor about whether there are any future plans for the now vacant storefronts. No one returned our calls or messages, but we'll let you know when we hear back.